THB 11 gave you the heads up last night to keep an eye out for today's case numbers. And once again, the records have crumbled in the face of this Omicron wave. Nearly 15,000 new cases today. It follows a slowdown in case reporting related to the three day weekend. Positivity rates shown in the red line remain far above anything we've ever seen or we ever saw pre Omicron. Hospitalizations broke records for the second day in a row. They now stand at 1,600, a number we never saw last winter or this past summer. Our hospitals are also breaking records. Our biggest health care systems in Arkansas are seeing more COVID patients than they've ever seen before. THV 11's Ashley Goblin talks to them as they struggle to give the best care to those who need it. We are in a bad place with the COVID pandemic right now. UAMS is seeing record high COVID patient numbers. As of Wednesday morning, there were 94 in the hospital. You know, we are really stressed. UAMS was also down 350 health care workers. Nurses are taking on extra patient loads and staff are trying to find creative ways to help get patients the resources they need. We asked for volunteers among our workforce to answer call lights on the floors and to help with screeners at the doors and to help with our uh, drive through screening area. Uh, I've been on the phone today uh, with members of our medical staff asking, please, let's uh, go talk to our patients and discharge folks that absolutely can go home as quickly as possible. CHI St. Vincent had a record high of more than 100 COVID patients. That's literally doubled from uh, eight days ago. Baptist Health had a record of more than 300 patients and Arkansas Children's had a record of 46 children hospitalized with COVID-19. We're seeing you know, thousands of kids in Arkansas with COVID. Um, the ones that are ending up being most sick from talking to my colleagues that work at Children's and pediatric practices around our community are mostly those children that are unvaccinated either too young to be vaccinated or they haven't been vaccinated yet. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. As overwhelmed as our hospitals are with all these COVID patients, there is one group of people who are really staying out of the hospital, a group with an especially high level of protection against Omicron. And we're talking about people who are boosted. According to the Department of Health, since December 1st, People who have received boosters made up only 2.9% of the state's hospitalizations. People who were fully vaccinated but not boosted represented 28.7%, while 68.3% of those hospitalized are not fully vaccinated. Dr. Amanda Novak says it's a similar trend throughout the Baptist health system. Only a small percentage of their COVID hospitalized patients are boosted, and she says most of them are older and had other illnesses. These are not healthy people that got a booster dose. These are people that um, many of whom kind of need to be in the hospital for other reasons and, and happen to test positive. Vaccines continue to be widely available and free. Everyone age 12 and up can get a booster once you hit the five month mark after your second dose.